Hey, this is Janet with Paper and Spark, and today I'm excited to walk you through using your new Shopify seller spreadsheet. This spreadsheet template is geared specifically for helping Shopify sellers with their monthly bookkeeping tasks. It will help you total sales and Shopify fees, enter receipts purchase by purchase, keep track of your sales tax info, and calculate your net profit or loss every month. The Shopify seller spreadsheet is available for sale at paperandspark.com. Your purchase of the spreadsheet includes a file for 2017 and 2018, as of when this video tutorial is being filmed, a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions, and this series of video tutorials. You can open your spreadsheet files in Numbers, Excel, or Google Sheets, but for purposes of this tutorial video, I'll be working in Excel. So let's start out by just getting to know your new spreadsheet a little bit. We'll visit the monthly summary tab first. We've got revenue listed at the top up here. And this is where we're going to enter all your sales from your business. The, now on the blue lines, these amounts are going to be imported automatically from your Shopify reports. And we're going to walk through how to import your Shopify reports um, directly from Shopify in just a minute. And we'll also be able to automatically import any shipping received and refunds issued for your Shopify customers. You can also manually enter sales from other non-Shopify sources here. The goal is to see all your shop sales in one place on this tab totaled each month. So if you shop, if you sell um, elsewhere other than just Shopify, you can enter those sales here as well. We'll also enter any refunds issued on the refunds line in the revenue section. Remember refunds from Shopify are going to be automatically imported and then we can manually enter refunds from any other source. And we always want to make sure that we enter refunds as negative amounts. Next we've got our expenses. And the expense section is broken up into three categories, selling expenses, product expenses, and business expenses. Now, some of these expenses you're going to enter directly on this tab in one of these cells, while others are going to flow from other tabs of the spreadsheet down here. These are tabs, and they are color-coded to match what row on the monthly spreadsheet they're going to populate on. Your green Shopify monthly fees and transaction fees are going to be entered after we look at your Shopify invoice, which we'll cover how to do in the next lesson. And I'll also walk you through how to find your PayPal transaction fees, since I know a lot of Shopify sellers like to use PayPal to accept payments. So after your expense section, the spreadsheet is going to subtract those monthly expense totals from your monthly sales to tell you whether or not your business made a net profit or loss. And finally, we've got these blue sales tax rows down here. These are going to tell us how much you've been collecting in sales taxes from your Shopify sales. We'll cover these rows at the end of our tutorial series. Now for your tabs. These first few tabs, like I mentioned, are going to be for entering different categories of expense receipts. And then we've got our blue monthly tabs. These are going to be where we will import your Shopify sales reports each month, which I'll cover next. So that was just a brief little overview of what your spreadsheet looks like and how it works. Um, the easiest way to really show you how to use your new tool is going to be to walk you through how to do a month's worth of bookkeeping tasks. So let's start by just importing an actual sales report from Shopify and going from there. Now I've tested the spreadsheet out using both a basic Shopify account and the mid-tier Shopify account, which I think is just called a Shopify account. So your spreadsheet will work just fine regardless of which type of account you have with Shopify. 
The reports that we'll be using here are all available to you even with a basic Shopify subscription, which is what I will actually be working in for purposes of this tutorial. I am filming this as of, as of February 2018 and this is what the Shopify dashboard looks like. It does change from time to time, but so don't be alarmed if your dashboard looks a little differently than what you see here. Um, especially if you're using one of the other types of Shopify accounts, you might have more reports, you might see different buttons, things might look a little bit different, but when you log into Shopify, the report that you need for your spreadsheet specifically will be available to you no matter what version you're using. So with that being said, let's talk about how we can log into your Shopify dashboard and access the report that you need to import your monthly sales into your spreadsheet. You'll log into your account, and then I want you to click on this analytics button over here on the left hand side. Now the screen is going to automatically show you all these fun different boxes with little reports. I want you to totally ignore all of this and just click on the reports button that has now shown up underneath analytics on the left hand side. Once you click reports, you want to look for a box called finances. If you have the mid-tier Shopify account, you might have to scroll down a little bit to see this. Uh, again, this is a basic account, so it's right here up front. But find your finances box and then click on total sales. Once you click on total sales, the key is to change the month to date to whatever dates you want to pull, whatever month you want to pull. So I'm going to do January 2018. You want your starting date to be the first of whatever month you're importing and the ending date to be the last day of the month. You'll notice that the date range is either going to change to say custom or last month. Once you've got your date set, you can click apply. Now our next step is to click the export button up here near the top left hand side. You click export and it is key and super important to make sure that you change the default selection to be full report. If you do current report, you're only going to be pulling one page worth of sales and you want the full report of sales for that month. So click full report and then click export. After you've downloaded the file to your hard drive, you can open it in whatever spreadsheet software you need to, and it's going to look a little something like this. You'll see lots of columns and lots of rows of data if you have lots of sales, and this is what we're going to copy and paste into your Shopify seller spreadsheet. So all you need to do to copy is click this upper left hand corner, this weird little box, this rectangle right here. It's right above the one from row one and it's right to the left of your column A. Once, so once you click that correct cell, it automatically highlights all the data on the CSV that you opened. So once it's all selected, you want to copy it and you can do that by either right clicking and doing copy or Command or Control C on your keyboard, or you can even go to the edit menu and copy. Once you've got it copied, you navigate back to your Shopify seller spreadsheet and click on the blue tab for whatever month you're about to copy in. And in our case, that's January. And once you're on the January tab or whatever month you're working with, you can do the exact same thing. You're gonna see a blank tab. You want to click that same weird little square up into the top left hand side, select all your blank cells on this tab and then right click and paste or edit paste or command or control V. Now you have successfully pasted in all that CSV sales data from Shopify and you know that you did it correctly. If you can go to your monthly summary tab and see some information generated in these blue rows. So if you see some January numbers now in those blue rows, you know that you have just successfully imported in your Shopify sales, your shipping collected, your refunds issued, and your sales tax related numbers. Okay, now this is covered in your PDF guide. I recommend that you make sure to read everything in those instructions as well. But um, just a quick note, 
your Shopify sales totals are going to include sales tax collected from your customers and they're going to include any discounts or coupon codes that were applied to their order. Shipping paid to you is considered revenue for tax purposes and it's stated separately right here. This is the shipping amount that a customer paid you, all right? Um, the transaction fees and credit card fees that Shopify or PayPal or whatever payment gateway you use charges you are not included in these sales totals. We are going to deduct them out in the expense section separately. Okay, so we just walked through an overview of the spreadsheet and how to import your sales totals uh, CSV file into the spreadsheet to get the sum showing up on these light blue rows. That's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to enter your Shopify fees and your PayPal transaction fees as well.